Hello, everybody. Hey, girl. I'm doing well. I'm just taking a break from work. Maybe I'll be here for maybe 30 minutes or an hour and then I'll go back. Go back to coloring. But today, or right now, Now I want to see how fast I can get through a, through a design. I'm trying to look for good references, but uh, at the same time, like maybe I should just wing it, wing it and see what happens. Just wing it and see what happens. Okay, let's just wing it and see what happens. like this nose. Should have drawn the border. Well, should have used brush pen or the microns. I'll just draw.
you like syrup? Is this it? Is this all I get? Or should I put more? Let's brush pen this.
Thanks, Hoffmeister, Hoffmeister. I want to practice more with this brush pen. I haven't used it in a while and I still don't know how to use this. It is fun watching or looking at other work that used this brush pen and seeing the techniques that they that they use and the looks that they achieve with the lines. Trying to emulate that. Hello Shunimitsu. Trying to figure out like how loose, how loose do I want to be? Can I? Be precise with these lines, but look at this curve. It's so it's not sh it's not a straight or a, a perfect curve. There's little uh, little bumpies, little bumpies happening, like stuff like this, like the mechanical technical stuff. Do I use a brush pen for this? Or should I just use a micron? Probably will. I, I, I just wanna, like, do I just use the brush pen to do the contour outlines? And then go into detail with the microns? Or is every this whole thing should this whole thing be brush? That's what I'm trying to figure out, and that's what's going through my head. And that's why I keep pausing when I'm talking, because I'm trying to talk out loud while doing the drawing. Simultaneously, all these thoughts are running around my head. I just has no idea. Just simply has no idea. Is Wendy working? Who's Wendy's? Thanks, Ross. It's slightly, it's the, it's happening. The lines are, the lines are being drawn. But the more, I, the more lines that I put down, the more uh, doubt I have. It's like, oh, not this line. Not like this. Not supposed to be like this. It's okay. I was hesitant to use the brush, but I picked it up anyways. Where do I get these? This marker, uh, this brush pen I got at a uh, uh, art local art store. 
Here I'm in California, Southern California. There's an art store called Art Supply Warehouse. This is where I got this pen. It's the uh, Pentel brush pen with uh, reloadable cartridges. But I'll, I'll, I typically use Microns. Is that also Pentel as well? For outlining, yeah, uh, sometimes there's this Pentel brush pen, but usually I use these guys, Microns, Pigma Microns.
things running. I'm using a zero three micron. Kind of treating this uh, this micron almost as a brush pen, staying back, you know, holding holding it towards the end to get a a looser line. This is how I usually draw my pinky. It's on the page on the sheet to stabilize this is how far back I'm holding the drawing utensil and then put on my marks now just like this. this is how I do it I wish I could have music on, but Instagram always flags it, flags the music I'm playing when I try to eat, we, when I try to upload, so, so no music. Hello. Hello, Ricky Chin. Any suggestions for what type of head I should do for the next one? How do you erase your pencil lines without smudging the ink? I wait for the ink. I wait for the ink to dry. And I make sure that I don't use... Oh yeah, I just, I just really just make sure the ink, the ink dries. So here's what I did. Maybe I'll wait a minute or... or the paper is wet I'll, I'll wait five minutes maybe even longer if I'm using if I'm spotting blacks and just like huge black spots and you can see that the, <coughs> the ink is wet I, I will wait even till the next day to, to erase but right now uh, I'm just using a sketchbook paper it's not it's very thin sheet um, 60 pound paper so it's a thin sheet. Uh, 
maybe you might race too hard. I I will sometimes the ink will uh will get lifted off by the eraser, but um it's just something that something I have to deal with. Uh, I don't know if I'm using if there's other ink ink pens that have more opaque ink, but um yeah sometimes the ink does rub off, but uh. For something like the, for this 60 pound paper, sketchbook paper, the ink usually stays because the ink really gets absorbed into this thin paper. There's no bleed through, but I don't know if you can tell, you can slightly see it. can do that if you're still scared or uh, concerned about your ink lifting off um, we're gonna do it let's do it now. you're drawing and then you might want it then you use a brush pen Use this micron. Ooh, what does this look like? Hey, everybody, what? What does this look like? Okay. Uh, Larry, Lori, Larry. Let's put more pencil. Let's do more ink. See that? I'm gonna wait for that to 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 dry. But because it's thin ass paper, uh, we don't have to wait too long. I think they'll be okay. So instead of using this racer. I think this is the fabric castell no dust eraser but there's still dust i will take a kneaded eraser you know the kneaded ones where you can like pull it apart and it's like putty and the way to clean it is you just keep kneading away at it right these type of erasers you make a cylinder out of it cylinder then all this pen all this pencil you just roll over it this helps I've noticed that this helps uh, too this helps not uh, this helps this won't make the ink uh, uh, get lifted off as you're erasing Lori. But at the same time, you have to keep uh, rolling away at the at the pencils to get rid of all the pencils. Sometimes there might be some. Sometimes pencils still show up, and if they do, that's when I come back with with this and and lightly lightly get at the uh, pencils that that have stayed also maybe you're you're like using if you're being too hard with the pencil then that will make you uh uh you know rub harder to get rid of the uh to get rid of the pencils on top of your inks so that might be i, I mean i don't know how hard you are with the pencil but at the same time you can still use this you can still do this technique. It's just gonna take a while because there's a lot more pencil there. But if you do it long enough, 
you'll get rid of it. You got a good workout too. And granted, this is, I only, this is a, this is about two inch by one inch drawing. So imagine doing that on a 11 by 17 sheet or a, what is that? An A3, A, A4, or A, A3, A2 piece of paper. It's going to take a while. I also use watercolor paper with my Micron, so I don't know if that matters. Yeah, I would think watercolor would absorb, would absorb the Micron. Try the rolling, kneaded rolling thing. See if that works. Test it out on on a scrap piece of paper. Scrap piece of watercolor paper even. If you have that available. But, uh... Here you put some incidental lines. Some texture lines. I always like putting texture lines on near the edge of of the surfaces of the objects. This I almost want to keep blank. But maybe I can put maybe just some yeah, maybe I'll keep it blank. But you know I do like these holes. Yeah, sure thing. Well, let me know if it if if it works out. Hope it does. Don't blame me if you mess up. I've also noticed that I shouldn't just only, I, I only use reference just to find objects and shapes. I really need to pay attention to the, the shadows and the reflections these, these materials make. I kind of just try to, I just usually just make up. The shadow and the light of these things. And I think that's what's hindering. The progress that I want to achieve. But I don't know any better. There's other questions here too. Something about 3D. I like that clear grid ruler. I love this clear grid ruler. This is uh, two inch by 12 inch. It's the best. Yeah, it really helps out figuring out um, because it's see-through. Yeah, you can you can lay the previous line on top of a, a gridded line and then make the proper adjustments. And uh, the grid is at is at uh, an eighth of an inch, but uh, these little points is uh, these ones are one six one sixteenth, but these ones are one eighth. And there was a 3D, there was a 3D question here that I totally passed. You draw for comic or 3D character for print? 3D character. Uh, usually comics for 3D character, I, uh, yeah, I'll do that too, but 3D, I'll do it in physical. 
where I'll sculpt the where I'll sculpt the design. If I can pull out a let me see if I can pull out a, a sculpt that I did for Toy Pizza. Oh here you go. Pull out two. Did this for toy pizza. Traditional sculpt. Uh, I did the initial sculpt, and then Matt Dowdy of O'Neill Designs uh, cleaned the sculpt up. You can really tell this is a Matt Dowdy cleanup right here. I'll do that. I also sculpted this suit for Toy Pizza. I didn't do the head. I did everything else but the head. I sculpted this jacket with onto the torso and then digitally they re uh, separated the pieces. So all this stuff I didn't sculpt. I didn't sculpt this side thing, they digitally did that. But this front part right here, I sculpted that. Yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the initial sculpt physically, and then they scan it. I send it off and then they scan it and then they'll clean it up. I even did this hand. The bottom of the boots I didn't sculpt. I always forget to do the bottom of the feet. But everything else is sculpted, minus the head. I don't know who did these heads, but these heads came out really good. Here's the head I sculpted. They wanted they wanted anime hair, <laughs> so I gave them this. I'm not that great at heads. Yeah. Nah, it's okay. I don't think there's a lot of people that know that know I do toy pizza stuff. But um, I'm still doing more toy pizza stuff. Can't say what's happening, but you can always be sure that I'm working with those guys. Great guys to work with too, all around the whole team. Jesse, Nikki, Siva Jack, Matt Dowdy. I think Mark Ultra did a did some work for them too. He's a cool guy. Four Horsemen also worked on some toy pizza stuff. But yeah, there's one sculpt that I did for them that I really can't wait to see. To see it in plastic form. I got the resin prototype uh, test. It already looks good. If I do so say say so myself so say 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 so the jump vector armor yeah thank you yeah that was my first oh well one of the first uh sculpts i did for for toy pizza but that was really intense because that was the first time i did anything like that the first uh toy pizza thing i did for them was um, Monster Head, which became the Monster Head 
for, uh, dang it, the, um, I think it's the Rift Killer body, it's like that monsterish toy pizza head with the bug eyes and kind of a pizza crest motif on top of the head, but then there was an edit, then Matt Dowdy edited the, the mouth plate. And then I also did monst- um, the huge monster arm and boots, which was cast in resin. And then the vector jump armor, I did that the year after. Uh, 2016, I believe. Oh, I only got seven minutes left. Sorry, guys. It was good hanging out. Seven minutes left. Let's see what I can do with this dude. I think this one should be a female. Let's find some reference. Facial reference. Because this head. Oh, my God, Warwick. Thank you very much, Warwick. You're very kind. Thanks, Francisco. Works in the house tonight. Oh, I should have had my soundboard. Can I pull that out real quick? Where's my soundboard? Warwick, I'm also trying to figure out this podcast uh, thing. I created this soundboard. Let me give, let's give an extra special shout out to Warwick. Oh, the sounds slow. It's a horn for Warwick. Warwick and I are... Working on, working on uh, some projects together. He wrote, he wrote a story for the Angriest Warrior. That's coming out later this year. <laughs> and we got another project lined up too. Can't say what it is, but I'm excited about that one too. But this drunk's a lady. I'm, I'm looking at these references for for females, and they're all smiling. These females all smiling. Hopefully, yeah, right. I know. We're so close. It's almost there. I still need to write that description. For that one page, I haven't done that. Tonight I'll be working on a character design. I'll be doing the roughs for that private commission. Get that to 
the client. After that, what else? Maybe I can get to that uh, description. It's a short description, but I just I want to I want to say the right things. I just want to say the right thing. Who else is here? <coughs> You're welcome. Hello, Dario. Draw these borders. Here's a trick to get straight lines. You want to get straight lines? This finger. This thing. This finger. Put it at the butt. Butt it up to the edge of your paper. Follow through. Straight line. Follow through. Straight line. But be careful of uh be careful of paper cuts. You can even do it on top too. Follow through. Follow through. If you can get it if you can angle it right, you can just get your fingernail on the edge. Oops. See, I'm not getting it right. But just set it. 
follow through. Now if you're using a, just a flat sheet of paper, just put it through the edge of your put it to the edge of your drawing your drawing surface and then just follow through. Okay. Okay, I think that's my time. That's my time. I will come back at another time and finish uh, this lady. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Hope I'll see you next time. Bye.